Hi, this is the uh, Black Mormon Reader, and I will be reading verses from the 29th chapter of Alma. Uh, this uh, chapter takes place right after this tremendous battle of this death and destruction. We have tons and tons of bodies on top of the earth, these huge mountains of bodies on top of the earth, and we have bodies that have been buried. We have the stench in the air. We have these molding bodies. We have just a whole oh, scene of death and destruction like these people had never known before. Of course, they did not know about the coming wars. They did not know about the Civil War. They did not know about uh, the Vietnam War and World War One and neither World War Two. So there are other wars that's coming that it's just more devastating and destruction and there would be more devastating and more disastrous for the human race of man than this particular war that had taken place but anyway so what Alma does is Alma Alma prays oh that I were an angel and could have the wish of my heart that I might go forth and speak with the trump of God with the voice to shake the earth and to cry repentance unto every people. I would declare unto every soul as with the voice of thunder and repentance and the plan of redemption that all should repent and come to God that there might not be more sorrow upon all the face of the earth but I am a man and do sin in my wish I ought to be content with the things which the Lord has allotted I know that he granteth unto men according to their desires, according to their wills, whether they be unto salvation or unto destruction. I know that good and evil have come before on all men. He that knoweth not good from evil is blameless. But he that knoweth good and evil to him, it is given according to his desires, whether he desires good or evil, life or death, joy or remorse of conscience. Seeing that I know these things, why should I desire more than to perform the work to which I have been called? Why should I desire that I were an angel? that I could speak unto all ends of the earth. For behold, the Lord had granted unto all nations to teach his word. All that he seeth fit that they should have, therefore we see that the Lord doth counsel in his wisdom according to that which is true. I know that which the Lord hath commanded me, and I glory in it. I am an instrument in the hands of God to bring some soul to repentance. When I see many of my brethren truly repentant and come into the Lord their God, then my soul is filled with joy. Then do I remember his merciful arm which he extended towards me. I do not joy in my own success alone, but my joy is more full because of the success of my brethren who have been up in the land of Nephi. They have labored and have brought forth many fruit, and how great is their re and, and how great shall be their reward in the day of judgment. When I think of the success of these brethren, my soul is carried away even to the separation of it from my body. May God grant unto my brethren 
that they may sit down in the kingdom of God, also all those who are the fruits of their labor, that they may praise God forever. And may God grant that it may be done according to my words, even as I have spoken. Amen. So that, uh, that's verses from uh, Alma's prayer after this a devastating and tremendous battle. Until next time, this is the Black Woman Leader. <laughs>